Listen, earlier this week, WKBW TV celebrated its 60th anniversary on the air here in Buffalo. Local programming has been a part of it from the beginning, so we thought we'd bring back a few memories of the show you're watching right now, AM Buffalo. In 1964, Channel 7 began to produce a live morning talk show. Dialing for Dollars was hosted by Liz Dribben and Nolan Johannes. It was fun and unpredictable. It's all yours, Nolan! The show featured a live studio audience, the band Johnny and Jimmy, plus some memorable moments. I think that happens with the women. I've played uh, a little football with women back when I was a lot younger, and uh, they've got their own methods. After Liz and Nolan, Dave Thomas took over the duties of host. Hello, hello, my sunshine, hello, my honey, no one's on the telephone. Good morning. Do you remember the phrase, the count and the amount? If you did, you had a chance to win $777, the big jackpot call. But it was in 1978 that two new hosts were brought in to host the show. That was a great lunch. It's always good here. I'll get us a taxi. Brian, Kale, Nancy Foreman, the new host of Dialing for Dollars. Although the show was still Dialing for Dollars at the time, Channel 7 decided to change the show's format and with it, a new name. In 1979, AM Buffalo covered the National Love Canal story with Jane Fonda. This new format gave AM Buffalo the flexibility to interview guests at length. And uh, these are stories that I can hardly believe are taking place in a country like this. In 1980, Cindy Abbott took over co-hosting duties from NBC-bound Nancy Foreman. You can only hold your stomach in for so many years. Yes. Yeah, Over the years, AM Buffalo has had its share of guests and controversies. So, Brian, I wish you'd do your homework. You say that once more, and I'm going to throw you right off this program. You, 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 you just try it. You just try it. You don't think I can do that? No, you can't. The interview's over. We'll be right back. John Summers and I came in 1990, and we had no problem fitting in. <laughs> Linda Pellegrino. <laughs> you flatter me. But even Carol wasn't the most glittering star. Eventually, my new co-host, Drew Kahn, joined the show, and I had the pleasure of interviewing many more Hollywood stars, musical artists. We a first lady, and even the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. Look who I've got here. And when the popular soap opera General Hospital shot on location in Niagara Falls, I was offered the enviable role of a few lines and a close-up with Frisco himself, Jack Wagner. Excuse me, miss. Are you one of that travel lands? Yeah, Goat Island. It's a great ride. You'll love it. Oh, where? How, how, how can we find Goat Island? Down the road, follow the signs. Thanks a lot. Let's go, let's go. At the time, super couple Luke and Laura were the hottest stars on daytime television. Their TV romance and wedding was watched by over 30 million viewers. Although AM Buffalo viewership isn't quite that large, we did, however, get a dedicated audience when my husband Bob and I renewed our wedding vows, along with some of our faithful viewers live on television. Bob, you may kiss your bride. the Bill Super Bowl era and Monday night Miami games, it was exciting broadcasting live. I always said hosting this show is like being in the front row of life. Even Buffalo Bills all-star Steve Tasker joined us for segments in Cancun, and we also visited Europe and the Bahamas. In 2015, we welcomed a new addition to AM Buffalo, Courtney Corbetta. You'll find her reporting from all over Western New York with her hometown enthusiasm and million-dollar smile. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Up hey, there. very good. As a breast and thyroid cancer survivor, I've had the opportunity to share my medical experiences during my chemo, hair loss, and treatment schedule. You as the audience were able to walk through it with me and share the survivor experience. Now, promoting annual mammograms continues to raise awareness. Remember when I raced a bus for ovarian cancer at crash Rama? Who knew it was still ahead for me? In 2013, I was proudly inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame, and station manager Mike Nurse had the studio renamed after me. It is really an honor to, to, to dedicate this studio to you. Today, the station is partnered with the Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, and we routinely invite doctors on the show to create awareness to fight breast cancer. Today, Courtney and I continue AM Buffalo's legacy of featuring celebrities, entertaining, informing audiences, and broadcasting live throughout Western New York.